Listen, it does not need to be a new year, a new you. It just needs to be a new year, a healthier you. Because sure, okay, they trying to take us down at every front. So get some TLC products and up that metabolism and up that energy and up that immune system, okay? That digestive system. Get that all together with these TLC products right here. And don't forget, okay, sign up for ifyoucanmove.com and become a part of the online gym and share the pounds, honey. We're starting a new challenge on January 3rd and I would love to see y'all there. Get the links down below. Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Bondi Blue and I am back for another sister's review, y'all. Okay, so let me go ahead and put the first picture up so we can go ahead and start it off okay so sisters picked up where the last episode left off which was with these two weird rednecks showing up to danny's job to threaten her to stay away from their brother preston just when we thought all of the racism with preston was over boom here we go two redneck inbred brothers i mean hmm they just look like they smell you guys they just look like they didn't bathe they look like they weren't clean um, we learned a lot from their baffling on and on. They tell her that she's not getting any of their family's money, you know, and she's just standing behind the counter like if I wasn't at my job, I'd have took out a box cutter and slit y'all throats by now. But you know what? I'm going to just stay professional because I'm at my job. And then they said that she was a bet. Oh, that's what we love to hear as women, that we were a bet to someone. Oh, yes, a high one. I'm not going to do it, but y'all know what I mean. Name that movie. Okay, okay. Then they called her a black gal. I mean, <laughs> she was like, oh, that's where he gets that shit from. Yeah, y'all. It is just, oh, my God. Child, the family. The family is a hot ass mess, okay? So then... Zach shows up, all right? And when Zach shows up in his little golf cart, Danny tries to calm Zach down because he's security. So he jumps in and, you know, tries to calm things down, I guess. But then when a dude starts throwing racial slurs at him and calling him Jamal and shit, Zach just threw all of that professionalism out of the window as if he had any. Okay, so he gets all in their face and then Danny kind of disappears out of the frame just so we can see her pop up later and do this. <laughs> Like, listen, do you see dude in the air? Do y'all see dude in the, dude is in the air, okay? Um, I thought that shit was hilarious, okay? She like really hit them with the golf cart, you guys. Um, of course, they were still talking shit, but they limped they asses up out that airport, okay? So after that, Zach and Danny um, go to one of the planes because they have to talk okay they have got to talk about everything that is going on y'all know before the two hicks showed up they were dealing with the fact that karen had shown up and said that zach stole from her y'all know somebody charged up all her credit cards and the credit card company said that zach did it now we know zach didn't charge those credit cards because what would he have to show for it okay Either way, him and Danny go on the plane and she smokes and then she gives him uh, the box of his grandfather's stuff that Karen said she left out in front of the airport, just left it on the curb. I was like, you came into the airport, but you still left his grandfather's things at the curb, bitch. You just being petty for no reason. No real evidence other than, I mean, the, the bank said that, but the bank could be lying. I'm just saying, where's the evidence that he, like, really has any of the things that they said he purchased? Like, what did he purchase? Like, it's just so much confusion behind his credit card situation. Either way, I just kind of feel like Karen was going way too hard, but I get it. She's had it up to here with Zach and all of his shenanigans, okay? Shout out to Jocelyn, okay? But... She gives him the box and he's so happy that, you know, all of his grandfather's things weren't thrown into the trash or stolen by somebody. Danny asks him if he stole from Karen and he says no. And then he shows her the chain breakers website and how he got the truck and basically gives her a reason to believe that he really didn't do this. Because at first she was wondering because, you know, he gave her a ride in that truck. But once 
he showed her that it was chain breakers and this is something that people in the community have heard about they know it's legit then she was like oh this is good zach oh all right then why you didn't say this with your dumb ass okay and he was like because i wanted to show karen i'm like yeah you could have pulled it out on your phone and showed her just like you showed danny but you're gonna let her believe the worst about you huh with your dumb ass so y'all uh let's move on to maurice Maurice busts into Sabrina's office and interrupts the new guy being stupid. All right, I didn't get a picture of the new guy, but y'all seen him. Tattoos, some type of mohawk haircut, child, I don't know. Okay, but all I do know is he's in Sabrina's office every few minutes because he still don't know this damn job, even though apparently he had done this at another job. Child, I don't know, but all I know is he working on my nerves and he working on Maurice's nerves, and I don't know who want to bone him more, Sabrina or Maurice, and they both in denial about it. This whole conversation of them going back and forth is her pretending like, you know, she don't want to be with him, but she wants to be with a guy like him and not a guy like Calvin, you know, not a pantsy wearer okay and then maurice is sitting up there acting like he's so annoyed by the dumb boy but obviously if you this bothers you must like him it... so y'all about to be fighting over the same man i'm confused like i don't know what's going on and sabrina since when do you need a rugged man since when sis since when like nothing about you screams i want a rough check gotta get a rough neck like none nothing about you says that okay I was annoyed with her and his foolishness. Um, I'm annoyed with a lot of women who feel like this. Like, I, I want a man with swag. I want a man with some dimensions, okay? I want a man that reads books and knows how to shoot a gun. Like, yeah, I would love to have, you know, both of those duality, you know, those things together. But, you know, a lot of you don't like to read. But whatever. I mean, listen, you can't have everything. But still, like... Does it have to be with this like thug mentality bullshit? You don't really want no thug. You don't really want somebody that's going to beat your ass, okay? And then leave you at the house all day in a hot ass house and take your car and be out living his best life with some other bitch. Like, is that what you want? Because that's what you asking for. I'm just saying. Y'all, let's move on from this because this scene was stupid and it was too long. Um, Let's see. Okay, good scene. Fatima goes to see Hayden's dumb ass. Y'all, Hayden is working on everybody's nerves. Hayden is a ultimate cock blocker, okay? We know that he threatened Zach and said that he would get Zach kicked out of the program if he didn't stop seeing Fatima because Hayden wants Fatima. He thinks that he's the bee's knees and she's blind because she doesn't want to be with him. And she says his dick game was trash and no, she doesn't want to be with him. She's not attracted. And she busts into his office and tell him to stop playing with her and stay out of her business before shit get wrecked okay she's not the one i want her to get a better wig i really really do okay he was sitting up there talking about you know he's just out of he's j he was actually sitting up there talking about how you know zach just got out of jail and you know how these guys are and it's just kind of like how can you say that when you're helping these people like you're working with them you know what the justice system is like and this is what you're saying like just keep your nose out of my shit like it's just real stupid okay so after she finished going off on him hold up let, let me get the other picture after she finished going off on him then after she finished going off on him then andy calls fatima into her office all forceful and shit just to be nosy like andy works on my nerves this whole episode fatima tells her that you know the situation with hayden is that he found out that she was dating someone new and he threatened him and so then andy apologizes to fatima for being an asshole earlier in the day and it's all good. You know, everybody's cool. You need anything? You need anything? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. No, you're good. You sure? You sure? You're good. You sure? You're good. Okay, okay, we're good. All right, bye. Damn. Then Paris shows up. And, you know, how are you doing? Oh, I should be asking you that. Oh, okay, well, how are you? Like, boring, 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 boring. Like, I don't, I want her to stop playing with Paris's feelings. You want to run behind Gary's crazy ass? You still want to be checking for him? Leave Paris and his good natured self alone. Okay? Please. Please. Leave him alone. You don't want him. You don't deserve him. Okay? Go be with the dog ass crazy dude that beats you up and hugs the air out of your body. Okay? And then we see Fatima call Zach and beg him to come over to her house. 
And it's just another scene where, you know, Fatima, who is completely out of Zach's league, begs him for the D. Like, that's basically what it feels like. You know, if you a strong black woman, at some point you got to beg some broke nigga for dick. Like, that's just the way the cookie crumbles out this bitch. Like, whatever. Anyway. <laughs> Child, I ain't got time. Then Danny goes over to Sabrina's to tell her what happened at work with Preston's brothers and how he hasn't called her back all day. So it, it's starting to make her worry that the brothers might be right, that she was just, you know, some little fling that he was trying to get some black girl's booty or some shit like that. White men are so disgusting. Um, You hate us, but you still want to fuck us. Like, make it make sense. Like, you know, we just wanted to try it. Like, I should stab you in the penis. Like, that's what I feel like. I feel like somebody should decapitate Mr. Dangalang. Like, that's how I feel since you're using your penis as like a racism wielding, you know, uh, sword or some shit. Like, I feel like it should get cut off. Okay, like all other racist, you know, tools. Anyway... Then Karen comes in and Danny is like, girl, you need to be sure about this whole situation with Zach because I don't think he stole from your credit cards. I don't think he charged your cards, girl. I'm telling you, I don't think he would have done that. I don't think he wants to go back to jail. She's like, are y'all serious? So upset. Okay, so upset that her friends are asking her to have common sense. And then Andy comes in and says the exact same thing and she's even more pissed off. Karen wants to know when has Zach taken enough from her? Like, when is it going to be enough for people to stop expecting her to take his ass back? And then Danny tells them about the new woman that he has. Because she was like, he blocked me on social media. And Danny was like, he didn't block you because of the credit cards. He blocked you because he got a new woman. Okay? And Andy was like, well, how you know? And she was like, well, because I heard her on the phone when he gave me a ride in his truck, his little work truck. Oh, look, he got a whole truck. He probably stole it. No, he's working with the Chain Breakers organization. And this is when Andy is like, yeah, my assistant works with them. So she know Fatima work with them, but she don't know Fatima's dating Zach. Child when Whenever they put all of this together, Karen continues to insist that it's Zach that's done this to her. And Danny says, well, good, because that new woman has his no. Wait. Karen insists that she's over Zach and she doesn't want to be with him anymore. And then Danny says, well, good, because that new woman has his nose wide open. OK, Dion Warwick. They asked Andy if she talked to Gary and she says, no, but it's so hard. It's so hard to stop being with the man who steals from me and abuses me and then blames me for everything. It's so hard to be happy. Girl, get out of my face. Then Sabrina puts all of Danny's business on Front Street about the racist brothers, you you know coming to see her in Preston and all of that and she was like you know you really had to like put my business out on front street with all of that fever huh oh all right I see you bitch anyway they talk about it Danny leaves and you know goes home okay hold up where's the damn picture do I not have the damn picture hold up so Danny goes home and finds this fool laid out by her door like this so I'm like, oh, because you got beat up, you couldn't answer the phone? You don't have your phone? They took your phone? What happened? Make it make sense, Preston, as to why you haven't been answering your phone all day. You don't look that beat up to me where you couldn't pick up a phone and say where you was. You just being overly dramatic. I want Danny to drop your problematic ass. You got too much shit going on with you. Okay? Crazy ass family members coming around here, stank breath, looking like shit. Looking like they family members on top of family members fucking and all of this. We don't want to see this. Ugh. Y'all, why we always got to see racism in the shows we go to for relief? Anyway. Sisters was aight. Sisters aight. Y'all know sisters aight. You know what I'm saying? I be trying to tell y'all sisters is aight. You know. This episode was filler. The scenes were a little bit too long. Too much damn back and forth dialogue. Tyler Perry, come on, baby. Like, are you going to do this again where you wait until the last three episodes to make it good and make shit pick up? Because, like, we were sitting in these scenes for way too long. I'm tired. I'm glad I only got one more to do for today. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys. And I'll see y'all later, okay? Okay.